Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be answering my most asked question when it comes to Title Update 31 or the next big update for Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation. And that most asked question is Toy Cat, will my current world be able to get all the TU31/32 features? And uh, yeah, unfortunately, the answer to that question is kind of yes, kind of no. So I think I'd elaborate with this video today. So please do like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you like this update talking stuff. But let's get straight into the video. So let's quickly start by explaining that this next update, you know, the big one is going to be based on 1.8, we know that for a fact, which means every single PC feature not from a snapshot right now will be coming to the game. This is going to make it one of the biggest updates ever, and there's a whole range of features, some of which will work on existing worlds, some of which won't. And uh, to give you an example of both, I guess we'll start with ones that won't, because there is more features that will still work, but there are some things that you just won't be able to get without restarting your world, or without going to the Xbox One slash PS4 and expanding the world. So let's start with those, because it's better to start with the bad news than move into good news, because honestly, uh, you know, there are quite a few big ones, you know, some of the biggest parts of this update that are exclusive to new worlds, but they're still kind of not at the same time. So let's start by explaining that all of the new biomes, that's right, every single new one of them won't be able to take place in your old world. This is because to do that, they'd have to change the biomes under your map, that would mess things up, and they haven't done that for several updates now. So if you're looking forward to having a Mesa biome, you're going to need to have one of two things. You're going to need to be able to expand your world in the Xbox One, or you need to have part of your world that is just not explored and hope you find these biomes. Uh, unfortunately, that's all we can do right now. Uh, obviously, if you want to start a new world, after the next update comes out, I'll give you seeds. But until then, you know, you won't be able to just get it in your existing worlds. If you want to explore all these new biomes when the update comes out, you will have to start a new world when that happens. However, this will be the last time, at least for quite a while, that this should happen. So that means if you're, you know, kind of thinking about starting a new world anyway, just wait, you know, an extra month or how long it takes for the next update to come out and then start that new world because then you'll get to explore all of the new biomes. And alongside uh, all of the new biomes, something is coming to an existing biome, but you will have not uh, had to have not explored it to find it because it is the Ocean Monument. So the Ocean Monument is one of the rarest, you know, uh, naturally generated structures in the game. And unfortunately, so many cool things in this next update are tied to that Ocean Monument. Uh, hopefully they will spawn quite frequently, but you will need a brand new world and you will need to find an ocean and then get lucky if you want to find this uh, Ocean Monument. And the really sad thing about that is it means if you want to, you know, actually find Guardians, the Elder Guardian, uh, Sponges, naturally in survival, if you want to find all these cool new blocks, you will need to get lucky on your seat. So again, I'll cover that with Seed Sunday. But until then, if you have a world right now and you're excited to get sponges. Unfortunately, that is not something that is the case. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. There's two of the really big features, you know, the new mob, the the new uh, structure, and all of the new biomes will not be, uh, you know, featured in your old worlds. However, that doesn't mean that, you know, this next update's kind of pointless if you don't want to switch worlds, because there is a bunch of features which are coming. So yeah, that's the bad news. Let's move into the good news. What will you be able to experience on your old world without having to do anything? So uh, one thing you might not expect is rabbits, which are, you know, one of the new mobs coming this update, next update, should be able to spawn in your existing worlds anyway. They spawned a bunch of biomes, and if as long as you have, you know, not just a whole world that's an ocean, you should be able to find yourself a rabbit somewhere in your old world. So yay, rabbits. Um, as well as that, the other new mob, the Endermite, that's going to be, you know, that, that's not based on your world at all. Uh, same thing right there. A bunch of other features, including the new enchantment system, also going to be possible on your old worlds. The new enchantments, so you know the fishing rod enchantments, as well, those are going to be possible. if you, When you enchant your fishing rods you'll be able to do that, regardless of your old is well, uh, old or new. As well as that you know, the going fishing with those new enchantments you will be able to find all the new types of fish that's not limited to new types of water, and that means you'll also be able to find stuff like name tags in the water. So, if you haven't been able to have name tags, because you have a pre, you know, title update 19 world, this you'll still be able to get you know, stuff that's from that update now because you'll be able to fish from it. So yeah, this update is actually pretty cool in that specific way, as well as that, slime blocks, banners, uh, you know, all these things that are craftable, as long as you don't need a resource which requires those new biomes, because in reality, it is just, uh, you know, two things that won't generate in old worlds, that is new biomes and the water temple, as long as the feature is not related directly to those two things, you should be able to get it. So, should you look forward to title update 31, or will it just not work in your old world? Um, although, you know, there are some features you will need to regenerate, or you'll need to have a spare space, or you need one of those things, as long as you're, you know, content with only having 80% of the update, and, you know, in my opinion, a lot of the really cool stuff, like, slime blocks are probably one of the bigger features for me, as long as you're content with, you know, missing out on the water temple, which is going to be rare even on a new world, then I think you're in a pretty good place. So, um, yeah, that's kind of that right there. Uh, hopefully, I've kind of, you know, squashed some fears about whether the update will work on your existing worlds. Before I end the video, I feel I should quickly clarify that if you are a creative player, this is pure, that I was just talking about survival this whole video, if you are a creative player, you're entirely immune from this. You can do all this stuff from the uh, outset, and I should also clarify that 
if you're creating a new world, there are two new options for creating that that obviously can't exist in an existing world. So Amplified might be coming, and you know, obviously that's not something you'd normally, and also there is customized world types from 1.8. We don't know if those two features are confirmed yet, because they're kind of outside there, but if they are, they will require new worlds, because they're based in the new world creation process. But yeah, uh, creative players and survive, uh, you know, have access to 100%, and survival players have access to like 80%, even if you're not willing to start a new world. So if you're concerned about that, hopefully you're not, and hopefully now you're excited as I am for the next big update. So I hope you did like the video. If you do, please do like it and let me know. Share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. If you are one of the people that isn't going to start a new world, let me know in the comments down below what feature you're most excited for, and if you are going to start a new world, I'd like to know about that. Is it like a, a big feature, or uh, is it like a big feature that you need to have, or are you just going to, you know, wait it out because you want to start a new world anyway? Let me know in the comments down below. Always curious to know what you think, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and I'll see you all later today, actually, in another video. So bye.